Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, if you're new here, and I blog over at thesimplyorganizedhome.com. But I also make YouTube videos here now. So I hope that you guys will join our journey here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down the left below and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I'm planning to upload about twice a week. That's my schedule. So you can expect new videos from me, usually on Tuesdays and Fridays unless we're sick, which has been the case the past couple weeks. But today we are going to jump right in to our organized kitchen tour. Before we jump in, I do want to share a few tips that I have found that have really helped us to keep our kitchen clean and clutter-free and organized. And these are things that I think we can all work towards doing a little bit better. These are not hard tips. These are changes you can make in your kitchen today. The very first thing that we do is we make sure to avoid homeless clutter, which means that we have a place for everything and at the end of the day, even if our kitchen gets super messy, everything has a place to go back to. And trust me, our kitchen gets messy. Every single day we cook in this kitchen, we do homework in this kitchen, we do all the things in this kitchen and that's great and I'm glad that we live life here but I want to make sure that at the end of the day, everything is put away and clean and it's clutter free. It's so nice to go to bed with a clean kitchen. So we really fight against that homeless clutter and we make sure that everything in our kitchen and everything that is brought in that is new has a home. We also have removed paper from our kitchen. So we don't keep stacks of paper in our kitchen that we need to sort through or bills that need to be paid or papers that need to be signed to go back to kids' schools. We keep that stuff separately. We honestly try to deal with it as quickly as possible. Um, but if it can't be dealt with right away, then it does not get a space on our kitchen counters. It goes to our desk in our bedroom. Paper can be a huge culprit of clutter in our kitchens. Do you guys have that stack of, of paper at the corner of your kitchen cabinets because I used to and it would drive me crazy. It would cause me so much anxiety thinking about what's in there that I need to deal with and that needs to be signed or paid or whatever. So instead of doing all of that now, we just keep paper away. We also try to keep our kitchen counters very clutter free. I just don't store things on my counters like appliances and I actually really limit the decor on my kitchen counters as well. So you're not gonna find things like crock pots or toasters or blenders sitting out on my kitchen. They all have a home in my cabinets put away so I can easily pull them out, use them, and then put them away when I'm done. I also really limit my decor. So I have one piece of decor in my kitchen right now and that's usually about what I limit it to. I sometimes have a vase of flowers next to my kitchen sink. But other than that, I just have found that the more decor I have, the more my countertops attract clutter because clutter attracts more clutter. And while I love decor, I have found that I just don't like decor as much as I like my house to be clutter free. The last thing that we've done is we've really just limited the amount of food that we actually store. I personally rather let the grocery store store my food rather than me store my food in my cabinets. Honestly, a year or two ago, three years ago, we had so much food. I mean, we could eat for weeks and weeks and never go hungry. I literally remember finding 12 boxes of pasta in my pantry one day, thinking, we only eat pasta like once every week or two. Why do I need 12 boxes in my pantry when I go to the store once a week? I don't, and that's the thing. So instead of storing all of that food, I just leave it at the store. It has really reduced the amount of food waste that we have. I'm not constantly going through my kitchen cabinets every six months or a year to find things that just need to be thrown away. I honestly am appalled by the amount of food that we've thrown away. It's also helped us to keep our kitchen cabinets more organized and it's so much easier to fix dinner when you know where everything is. All right, let's jump right into this kitchen tour. I'm gonna start with my pantry and work my way around, so I'll show you inside every cabinet and every drawer. Thank you. 
The top cabinet holds our garlic, potatoes, and onions, as well as all of our things to make our protein shakes each day. Our taller pantry cabinet has three drawers. The top drawer has baking supplies, things like sugar, oats, and wheat. The middle drawer has a bowl in the front where we keep our fruit that is not refrigerated, as well as a basket in the back that holds vinegars and oils and taller bottles, as well as some pasta and taco shells. And then the bottom drawer just has things that are snacky items like popcorn, any kind of chips, pretzels, that kind of stuff. The cabinet right next to our pantry houses our dishes that we use every day. We have some serving platters and bowls in here, as well as our glasses and then everyday dishes that we use all the time. We use white Corel dishes and we have one set of 12, along with a few extra bowls for things like soups and cereal. There is one drawer and cabinet between our dishwasher and our pantry. This drawer is our junk drawer, obviously. Um, it houses our essential oils, pens, anything we might need on a regular basis here. Um, my son also likes to keep his gum collection, obviously, in the back. The cabinet below our junk drawer is where we keep a few smaller appliances. Our blender is there along with um, the blue basket holds the little smaller cups for our blender. Behind the blue basket is all of our pie pans and cake baking dishes. And behind the blender is our toaster. Underneath our sink, we store all of our cleaning supplies. Um, all of the things that we use on a daily basis are in this bin right here. I also keep my dustpan and then some gloves for um, washing dishes and cleaning. We keep a bottle of Lysol wipes as well as our dishwasher pods in this basket. And then over here we have sponges and then we also keep our magic erasers in there and then any kind of cleaning rags. And yes, I keep my sponge underneath my sink. In our cabinet right next to our sink to the left, we have our baking cabinet. We store all of our things that we use for baking, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, cornstarch on a Lazy Susan right here. Um, those are our knives and our food scale. This shelf holds all of our Tupperware as well as our measuring cup. And then the very top shelf has a set of bread pans as well as our mixer. And then those two blue baskets, one holds um, measuring cups and then the other holds the parts to our stand mixer. The corner cabinet is where we store more food. Things like bread and peanut butter and honey go on the bottom shelf. Baking supplies like boxed mixes um, or brown sugar, powdered sugar go on the middle shelf. And then the top shelf has a few more cooking items like breadcrumbs and seasoning packets, but it also is a place for us to store um, extras like if we buy in bulk. The cabinet next to our stove is where we keep our canned goods. We keep that on an adjustable tiered shelf on the bottom. We use Lazy Susans on the middle shelf to store all of our spices. And then the very top shelf houses our vinegars and oils, as well as another basket for some grilling uh, spices and seasonings. The top drawer has things that we use for baking, measuring spoons, our whisk, spatulas, and cookie scoops. Our second drawer has more cooking utensils like our apple core, our garlic press, our pie servers, and our meat pounder. Our third drawer has more utensils in it, um, things that we use like our can opener and our lemon press, our pizza cutter, and our cheese grater. We created these dividers using a tutorial online. I will make sure to link that tutorial below. It's really nice because then you can kind of customize it to your own liking and your own needs. The very bottom drawer has all of our kitchen towels. Our corner cabinet is a Lazy Susan. The top houses our pots and pans. The bottom houses a few larger bowls and strainers. And then we also have our cast iron skillet and copper skillet. This skinny cabinet right next to our stove is where we keep all of our baking sheets and cutting boards. Above the microwave, we have two baskets. The one on the left houses our kids' medicine. The one on the right is all vitamins. There's a couple of bags of candy in the middle. And then where you can't see right there, which it's dirty and in the dishwasher right now, we keep our food chopper. We have a storage drawer below our stove. 
And that is where we keep some more baking pans like muffin tins and brownie pans as well as our donut pans. The upper cabinet between our stove and our refrigerator is where we store all of our coffee supplies. This is where we keep our coffee mugs on the bottom shelf. We use a wine bottle holder to hold all of our water bottles. And then on the very top, we have two baskets. That one on the left that's larger houses all of our coffee supplies. And then the one on the right has other drinks like teas and hot cocoa. In the drawer between our stove and our refrigerator, we keep all of our baking and cooking utensils along with our hot pads and our oven mitts. The lower cabinet between our stove and our refrigerator houses our baking pans as well as some serving and mixing bowls along with our cooling racks. Above our refrigerator is a basket. We store plastic plates and to-go coffee cups in that. The cabinets above our refrigerator are really not easy to access, so we don't store a lot of like regularly used items in here. I have cookie cutters that are kind of like bagged up by season in there. I have my um, frosting tips and cookie presses and those types of items there. An electric knife and then just some extra jars for food storage. The last section of cabinets in our kitchen is our kitchen island. We have two large cabinets and two large drawers in this area. Our left drawer is our silverware drawer. This is where we store our silverware as well as some straws and then also our grilling supplies because this drawer is the closest drawer to our back deck. So my husband can grab his things that he needs when he's grilling. The next drawer on the right in the island is where we store things like plastic bags and food wraps as well as our clothespins for wrapping up food. The cabinet on the left holds a lot of our appliances like my grain mill, our mixer, as well as a basket that holds our cupcake liners, and then all of my cookbooks go on the small shelf in the back. And the right cabinet is our kid cabinet. This is where we store lots of our kid-type snacks, plus my, our kids' cups, as well as lunch boxes and any lunch packing supplies that we need. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of our organized kitchen. I will leave a link to the blog post down below where I share all the pictures and details of all the spaces in our kitchen. I'll also leave a link to the source list down in the description box below with links to all of the products that we use in our kitchen to keep it tidy and organized. I hope you guys will come back next week for another brand new video. I'll see you guys next time.